I just gave um, a keynote talk to all the science fair kids who are aspiring to be researchers. And I tell them one story. When I was about 10 years of age, 11, um, you know, I was told that um, brain controls everything and it has, you know, all your traits, your behaviors come from brain. And then I always, people used to say that my blood is boiling. And that got me confused. Is it really blood that controls the brain or is it the brain that controls the rest of the system. So with family, I used to go uh, to our beach in Karachi growing up in Pakistan. And everybody, my siblings and friends will be playing on the beach. And I would watch these crabs who were kind of uh, trapped in a little puddle in the side of the uh, rocks. And I would see this big guy. And every time all the other crabs, anybody approached him, he goes up with his tentacles like this. And even when I approached him, he will come out very aggressively. And, and I wondered that this guy is not the biggest one and yet is willing to pick a fight with anyone who ventures onto his territory. So I said, what is it that makes him do this? And you know, for a young child, you think about, you know, maybe it's something in his blood. So one of my uncle, he used to inject himself with insulin. I, I stole he, or nicked his syringe and I took my sister's nail polish and I went and wear, um, wore gloves and I grabbed that guy and I wrote a number on his back and then I drew some of his blood. Um, and then I injected that blood into another tiny little crab with also a mark on his back as to my potential, you know, crab B. I went for lunch and I came back and I saw one of the most amazing things that really transformed my life. And I saw this little fellow now goes up to the big guy with his claws drawn, ready to fight. And in just few hours of injecting the blood from the big guy to small, it was the most amazing thing that I ever saw. And then when I joined university, I went back to these crabs, of course, different ones, and I collected blood from them and it compared with the blood for those submissive type. And it turns out that they had a unique peptide or a neurotransmitter. And I named it King Kong peptide because that, uh, you know, gave them the, the behavior. And that really transformed me and got me extremely excited about there is a blood brain connection. And philosophically, many philosophers believe that it's your heart that makes the decision. And the other half says, no, it's your brain. So I found actually a link whereby your heart and your brain work together to be able to really generate behavior that gives us this different sense of traits and, and, and characters. So I think, you know, that was an exciting point for me. And at that moment, I decided that I am going to really do research in the neuroscience area. Um, and that was really um, the transformative st stage of step in my life.